please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. fantastic after-school program here at Granite Park. Let's take a look at what's happening this week. Let's start with Monday. Monday we've got Minecraft, wrestling, weights, open gym, and cross-country. Moving to Tuesday, we've got painting, wrestling again, self-defense, and indoor soccer. As for Wednesday, there's Minecraft again, wrestling, weights, theater, cross-country, and indoor soccer. And Thursday, we've got crafts and board games, wrestling, and indoor soccer. Of course, there's no after school program on Friday. Let's head back and remind ourselves what's happening after school today. Looks like Minecraft, wrestling, weights, open gym, and cross country. And we look forward to seeing you today after school. Thanks, Grizzlies. I came to Granite Park. I was like, I came in the middle of like sixth grade. I was like new. I didn't think I was gonna have friends and stuff, but now I have so much friends. Some of my favorite things at Granite Park is how we have assemblies and our class get shortened, so we don't be in the class all the time. Um, I think math and English. We just have fun in that class. It's like it's not boring though. Who's Sometimes teacher? it can be boring. Who's your teacher? Ms. Mackey. English is Miss Garlic. She's she's just nice. I just like that class because the teacher and she's nice and stuff. So you're about to take a rise test again. Yeah. And there's a lot of students watching right now. You. Yeah. And uh, you did really well. Thank On you. On the rise. Thank you. Can you tell me what happened? I just like slept well. Like I ate good. I didn't sleep like I one in the morning. Like, I slept like at like 10. What are you going to do to be ready for the rise this year? Uh, so what I'm going to do to get ready for the rise test is I'm going to sleep early and eat good, no junk food, and just start reading. If you were to give any advice to students at Granite Park about maybe some kid out there who's concerned that they're not going to do so great, what would you tell them? If you think you're not going to do great, um, you are gonna do great, think positive, don't think bad, think good, and just, just, just try. Perfect, give them a round of applause, guys. Thank you. Good job, good job. We love Miss Blake because she is always ready to help. I love Miss Blake. She is so helpful in the classroom. Miss Blake is super amazing. I love Miss Blake because she's so kind and thoughtful and patient. She's amazing. Uh, one of the reasons why is because she's so helpful when it comes to technology. Um, whenever you need anything, whether it's technology, finding a book, anytime I have any technology issues or the students have any technology issues, I'm able to guarantee I can go to her and she's super helpful. 
she's always so helpful and she is awesome at helping fix computers or giving you somebody to talk through when it's like a minimal issue that you're just like, I'm too done to figure this out with my computer. We rely on technology so much and so she's, whenever I have an issue, I she responds so fast. I've had a lot of great experiences with her helping me with lessons on things like research because she's really knowledgeable about that. Um, she helps me in my classroom as a teacher and then she's so helpful with all my students and um, with their Chromebook needs. Sometimes my projector will stop working or my computer will for some reason just freeze up and she is guaranteed to help every single time and she's always smiling and happy when she does it and she's just the best. She's always so patient and kind and we need that kind of person in that position. It's cool to have someone like Miss Blake here at school who's so helpful and kind when she does it.